but she kept kind of getting pushed to the side. Dude, I, so I, I said characters. that the whole time. I was like, okay. she, she's a secondary character in her yeah. in her own movie. Do you feel no, like... No, that's what I said, too. I okay. said, my, my exact words in review were like, everybody got a movie except this woman right here. Yeah. And the only time they gave her her movies when they killed her ass. And now she got her own movie. She can't even get the full movie. Yeah. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking because it's like, would this have been better had this just been a... Like, okay, that... Natasha Romanoff, that Black Widow, she's gone. But now we're going to in- introduce a new Black Widow and solely focus on Florence Pugh. And you have flashback scenes where she interacts, like the family stuff. Yeah, yeah. With You bring back Scarlett Johansson for those, but it's mostly Florence Pugh's movie. But that would have been insult to injury to where we, we finally no, get a Black Widow movie yeah. and <laughs> we really are making it about this. <laughs> no, she got to get a movie. No, she would get, she, she'd get it dirt. I mean, she should have got a movie probably after Avengers, if not, you know, Winter Soldier. Hey everybody, Double Toasted Live is coming to New York on September 10th. Hey, that's my big birthday weekend, so help me celebrate with you. You can get your tickets right now over at DoubleToasted.com or go to X1Entertainment.com forward slash double dash toasted dash Brooklyn. Hey, there's a limited number of all access tickets and VIP tickets. They're going pretty fast, so go over there and get your tickets now. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. So you guys know that, uh, let me see if I got, I do. So, you know, people are saying cinema's coming back, but some people say, hey, after this weekend, it looks like it is back. It is here. Thanks to this movie. I was trying to do something good. Any more than just a train killer. We are still both train killers. Now, theaters, some some countries are not even open. And yet, this movie here still made over 200 million worldwide. Wow. I believe. I mean, you guys in the chat tell me, but I thought I saw some numbers right before I got in here. I would like to know how it did worldwide. And I want to know what place it's in. I haven't had a chance to look at the box office yet, but hey, 80 million, that's a lot of money. You know, even for the states during a pandemic still. I mean, y'all yeah. seem to forget, y'all think that pandemic's gone. Pandemic, right. no, pandemic right. ain't anywhere. Right, right. Pandemic's in the lab right now, mixing potions and shit. <laughs> New variant. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, oh, the, and let me see here 60 million on Disney Plus, somebody said. Oh, good, very well. 200 million, counting the 60 million from. From Disney Plus sales, so it looks like putting this on Disney Plus paid off. I can safely say it worked well here. Whether that's going to change anything or not, I don't know. But you would think that uh, with this movie doing so well, a movie that everybody's been looking forward to, everybody be kind of happy. I mean, you always going to have some naysayers, but uh, there's some people who came out saying, you know what? I, you know, I'm not happy about one particular thing that they did and this is an argument that's been going on with a lot of people uh, and that is the character of Taskmaster Taskmaster is a character that a lot of people looking forward to until they actually saw him so here's where the big spoiler is so if people are around and you don't want to hear this then please by all means step away this is your last chance I'm about to give a big reveal away right here gone everybody good everybody cool Get that, wake that dude up and get him out of here. <laughs> God, man. But here's the big reveal. So what is the big thing with Taskmaster that's pain, that, that's pissing a bunch of people off? Uh, well, people are saying because it's not Taskmaster. Oh, here we go. You know, the big twist was that he, that he is actually she, and she is the main villain's daughter in the movie a character that we thought died when they were a child. Uh, if you saw the movie, we thought it was a child that was dead by the hands of uh, Natasha Romanoff. Is that her last name? Yep, Romanoff. It, Romanoff. Uh, it, it was Romanoff forever, and then they realized, like, oh, wait, in Russian, it would be Romanova. Romanova. Okay, we'll go. But they, they, they're using Romanoff. And that's why movie. we call her Black Widow. Yeah. And so a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of debate going on here, as usual, because, you know, they, some people are saying, well... You just mad because oh here you go being one of those nerds. <sighs> you know I was I wanted to go in and see my Taskmaster, and that's not what I got. And some people are saying, hey man, you know, 
These movies change things all the time. And now you're going to complain at this moment. What, what, what is so much different from what they've done before? And I like to kind of get an opinion around here because some people even saying that, look, Marvel, I, I, I let you do it the first time. Ha, ha, ha. All right, very funny. You know, that was, that was cute what you did. But as the saying goes, you know, fool me once. That's a shame on me right there. But pull that shit twice, you. <laughs> if you call you a double, right? Well, I mean, not, not study, no, absolutely not. Just a roll. The Mandarin, see, it's not real. Ah, uh, they pulled a Trevor this time. People are like, all right, Marvel, cut the shit, all right? <laughs> and, it was enough. You, and you fixed it with the Mandalorian, uh, but we don't know what you're going to do with this. Uh, Mandalorian. Uh, what did I say here? Oh, you mean Shane Chi? I'm sorry, Shane Chi. I'm just in the Mandalorian. Yeah, uh, that too. Uh, the <laughs> the Mandarin. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you yeah, pulled yeah, it. Yeah. No, you pulled that with the Mandarin at one time, and now you're doing that here. So, <laughs> uh, and they'll probably do it with the Mandalorian too. Who knows? But uh, you know, we got a couple of comic book fans here. You know them. You love them. Uh, well, how you guys feel about this? Well, I'm not up in arms about it. But I was not happy with the change watching it. Uh, and I don't have a problem with them changing stuff around. They, they do it all the time. And usually, a lot of the decisions they make are for the better. Yeah. Uh, and this felt like they took an established character just to shoehorn it into the story they had. Yeah. In as much as they've, they've neutered Taskmaster in as... Taskmaster is literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm joking. It was a bad joke. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with uh, Taskmaster being being <laughs> female or having a different identity. Uh, what I have a problem with is just how ineffective the character is now because uh, the Taskmaster was somebody who had all these moves of everyone he ever met. So he was somebody who could, at least for a short while, take on several Avengers at once. Here, she is barely a match for the Black Widow. And even Red Guardian. So it was like, oh, man, you had this really formidable character that uh, kind of turns into not much. And, and they almost kind of fast and furious her at the end. Like, well, maybe she'll be a good guy from now on. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, brother, not yeah. this again. But I don't know. Yeah, for me, it's just, even before, like, cause I don't, the gender reveal doesn't, doesn't bother me, yeah. except for one reason. I'll get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, Taskmaster, it's, it feels almost worse. I think this is probably one of Marvel's worst villains so far in the MCU, I'd say. Yeah. And it's because Taskmaster is not a character. Taskmaster in mm -hmm. this movie is a prop. Yeah. They, they, their purpose is to serve as a, as a twist and as a physical obstacle. And that's just boring. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so their thinking was, well, we're going to change the gender of the character, which is fine. I'm like, oh, my, my, the idea of a gender bent taskmaster, a new adaptation, new version of the character for the film, I think that's okay. It's just that they use the gender as a plot device. It's like, see, huh? Uh -huh. How good we did. And that makes it great. But why didn't you then give her a personality? Why didn't yeah. you have her actually yeah. speak more than two words in the movie? You know, it's like if you want to, like, okay, we're you're, you're changing it, then okay, change it for the better, but give, give this character something. And it, to me, that's like super patronizing. Yeah. I think that's really insulting. That you were just relying on the fact that we you turned her into a female to score perceived cultural points or something. It's that's to, that to me is shitty. And I see, I feel sorry for uh, Olega Kurenko. Uh, I think that's how you say the actress's name because she's a good oh, actress. Oh, is that her? Yeah, from, you know, people oh. might not recognize yeah, her yeah. or know the name, but she was in Quantum of, Sol Quantum of Solace, Qu Quantum of Solace, Quantum of Solace Death of, of Stalin, yeah. you know, a, a number of other films. And you don't do anything with her. And it's sad. And the thing that's, with that, even if with the, with the gender bend version, Taskmaster is just a really fun character outside uh -huh. of the whole move set. Yeah. He, or in this case, she, or, or in the comics, he he's very braggadocious. Yeah. He's super sarcastic. Yeah. He goes between like being a straight up really evil son of a bitch to being like an anti-hero. Mm -hmm. You can have so much fun with this character and you just don't. You squandered it. You squandered all of it. And uh, it's it's a shame. Like... I mean, the villains, like, I, I enjoyed the movie for the most part. I mean, Florence, this is Florence Pugh's movie. Let's just say that. I, I love what they did with her in the film. But um, you, they could have set up, like, a whole new scenario. They could have made, this is an idea I have. Um, for every, you know, Red Room, or for, like, the generations of the Red Room, of the Black Widows, yeah. you always have a taskmaster. Yeah. Someone who institutes this. Someone sure. who controls them. Someone who does these horrific biological experiments on them. And what if that was the person? And, he, and, and the taskmaster is like, I'm better than all of you. 
this villain's not personal. Yeah. They try to think of making it personal by doing that, like, well, this is what happened in Budapest, but then you can, then she's always had that guilt. But then you're kind of like, you're, then it becomes nothing. And it, then it's just like, oh, but really what happened? Uh, Ray Winstone did something even worse. It's like, well, then it, 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 just, it just felt like they, they really just dropped the ball yeah. for like this really important fixture in Black Widow's history and they could have done something really unique and cool with it. Yeah. It's, it, it's a lot of bending over backwards just for callbacks to force a redemption arc. I don't have a problem with changing things. I have a problem with how you market things to feed off of the expectations of fans who do know who that character is. And I believe that when they showed Taskmaster, they were setting up a lot of fans to see that it might be a character such as this. I don't know this character as much as anybody else, but I do know that if you follow the character from what I read, like, I'll be, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I just, I went on sites and just read up on the history of the character. I mean, Screen Rant has a whole section of 10 things about Taskmaster that only comic book fans know. And this con this character has a shitload of history yes. yeah. and personality behind there's, there's a lot you can choose from. <laughs> and they took that character and pulled the plug on that yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's all the things he could do. Oh, oh is, that, is that right? Well, uh, put that away. And he, oh, that, let, me, let, let me see that list. Yeah. Yeah. That character does doing none of nothing. That. They just put, they fucking man in black that dude. They just wiped his memory. Yeah. Uh, and I don't have a problem with the character. It's, I guess it's kind of going along with what you say. You know, there's a point where I understand changing things, and comic book fans will go along with that. You're always going to have some that feel entitled, and they're going to want what they mm -hmm. they're going to want what they want. Mm -hmm. It's like I read comics as far. You owe me, bitch. But there are going to be people who more than likely would accept it. But you took a character with this rich history. And all this background and personality, and then you make a character that is a mannequin, <laughs> a yep. mannequin that can fight. Yeah. And I, you know, I mean, and I'm, she, I mean, she comes off as a Terminator when it first starts. Yeah. And it, it, it's the kind of move that comic book movies used to make before the MCU was doing hmm. what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I just don't think it's all a marketing thing. I mean, if you take a character that a lot of people like, and I could see how a lot of people like that character, then I, I think. I do think you kind of owe him a little bit more. You know, that, that, I, this is a case where I'm willing to see where this, this goes. You know, I'm not one of those people. I'm not, I, got, I don't have hang-ups, man. I'm not going to sit up and be like, man, fuck you, Marvel. But I, I will call bullshit what I see. And I think like, yeah, man, uh, a lot of people have a right to feel a little irritated by what they did. You gave them a non-character yeah. <laughs> with something that people love. I, there were a lot of people looking forward to that character. And what I, from what I read, people like, this is a this is a cool character I've been waiting to see <laughs> on the screen. You yeah. pulled uh, this shit right here. <laughs> you gave me a blank slate. It's a waste. I don't know. What, what will most likely happen now is, I will say this, Marvel, I think, is good at addressing their stumbles. They are. Yeah. Um, and so they'll do what they did with, you know, the Mandarin. They'll do what they did with the, the Thor movies where it's like, okay, you didn't get the real Taskmaster. Yeah, Here he is years thinking. later. It's a, it's, a, it's a name that's taken by many people. There are many, like there are many Black Widows. Mm -hmm. There are many Taskmasters. Yeah. And that's what it will be. Yeah, yeah. or maybe as another Taskmaster that they took Whatever, Inspiration whatever, from. whatever they got her from, they took it from the this Taskmaster guy. program. I yeah, think that's yeah, what it'll yeah, be. Exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. And there'll be another Taskmaster out there that you know, he's the I'm the real shit. I'm the <laughs> OG. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but yeah, this, I think they dropped the ball on this one right here. Yeah, this is a yeah, this is a weak ass villain man that they had, and who was doing some really badass things. And as the movie went on, I was like. He's not doing as much cool shit as I thought he was going yeah, to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, just yeah, yeah, like you imagine, like, you go and, and somebody's there going like, man, okay, Taskmaster, he's going to be a badass. You just watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, here he is. It's going <laughs> to pop off now. Yep. You just wait. And you're just sitting there. And you're like, okay, is it, when's it going to happen? It was some cool scenes, but it just didn't go to where I thought, you know, it was going to go. Which, again, you know, who who am I to say where it should go? You know, they write their stories. They do what they do. They're good at it. So I think they dropped the ball here. That, uh, yeah, that character right there, man, uh, you know, I think that that, that if they a, a lot of people are getting blamed for thinking that this character is getting a lot of a lot of uh, 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 backlash because it's a female. Um, Maybe some people out there who are saying that, but nah, man, these people legit have a reason to be irritated. Now, I wouldn't say start a petition, you know, <laughs> anything like that. Yeah. There are there are better things to worry about right now. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, but of course. but uh, is this a is this a stumble? Should they 
actually should they try to course correct this? My opinion is, yeah, you know, and like you said, they are good at course correcting. Mm-hmm. Eh? Marvel, you know, that's one thing about it. Marvel be going down a cliff in some kind of way. They'll find a way to dry that shit back up and that's get right. on the road again. Yeah, when we had Dark World, we had Ragnarok right after. True. true. So yeah, well, just yeah. even recently with Loki, the whole thing of. Oh yeah, I just created double that that fool Thanos <laughs> in the thing. He snapped my <laughs> neck. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. I, but I, man, that's just me. Some people might be completely satisfied with what they've done, and uh, you know, cool. Uh, that's I, fine. Yeah, of course. I, I think. Uh, I just think that there's a lot of people out there that realize that this could be a better character, and with me not knowing the character and looking at it now, I'm like. It's not about the change. It's like, yeah, you could have done something a lot cooler. It's not even that they changed the gender. I think, you know, like, people are going to be mad about them no matter what. Sure. My whole thing is like, okay, even if you change the gender, make her an interesting character. Mm-hmm. At least use, there's no reason why you couldn't have had the personality of Tony Masters' Taskmaster and apply that to her. Right. I mean, there's there's no reason. So, yeah, they just, they just, they just dropped the ball. They just solely relied on the gender reveal. Yeah. And that's why I think it was patronizing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have another question if, you, if we, you know, I don't know oh, if we're about to wrap up, but... I really enjoyed the movie, mm. uh, especially Florence Pugh. Mm. Did you guys feel like, you know, Scarlett Chancer I think was good, but she kept kind of getting pushed to the side. Dude, I, so I, many I said that the whole time. I was like, okay. she, she's a secondary character in her yeah. in her own movie. Do you feel no, like... No, that's what I said, too. I okay. said, my, my exact words in review were like, everybody got a movie except this woman right here. Yeah. And the only time they gave her her movies when they killed her ass. And now she got her own movie. She can't even get the full movie. Yeah. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking because it's like, would this have been better had this just been a, like, okay, that Natasha Romanoff, that Black Widow, she's gone. But now we're going to introduce a new Black Widow and solely focus on Florence Pugh. And you have flashback scenes where she interacts, like the family stuff. Yeah, yeah. With You bring back Scarlett Johansson for those, but it's mostly Florence Pugh's movie. But that would have been insult to injury to where we, we finally no, get a Black Widow movie yeah. and we really are making it about this. <laughs> no, she got to get a movie. No, she would get, she, she'd get it dirt. I mean, she should have got a movie probably after Avengers, if not you know, Winter Soldier. Go ahead, make your movie where you set up your next thing, because that's what Marvel does. Yeah. yeah. You know, we know this. It's a business. But give this girl an, an, another movie, <laughs> you know. Let yeah, her have, right. let her have another adventure, another prequel, and just let her do it. Mm-hmm. Let her have the stage to herself. God damn! I know, you know what I know. Mean? What's it? What's it take? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This ain't no Black Widow movie, man. It was it was uh, Black Widow presents the fucking other <laughs> widow. You know? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I feel like yeah, I, and that's why I said I want to see another one. I would love to see another one where they another prequel with her. And oh, you, you want another prequel? Yeah, I want another prequel. Everybody gets their own movie, man. Get you know, I, a, a I, series of I, films. I'd rather they find some way to just bring her back and give her a new movie. Uh, she don't want to be any more movies, I don't think. Well, then how are you going to do a prequel then? Uh, I think she'll come back without having to be obligated. Like she'd say, you know what, maybe I'll do one more movie so that I can actually you know, give this character something and give the fans something who have been asking for this character to have her own thing. But... I feel like if she decides to be brought back, I ain't gonna keep bringing her ass back. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know how long she wants to do that because even Marvel is saying that we're not putting people in long-term contracts anymore. Yeah, it's like they, they, man, <laughs> Marvel really they they pull some attitude in the way. They, Marvel said, "Well, you know what? We are not gonna put you in a multi-deal contract." But if you don't recognize that this is some good shit, then <laughs> yeah. that's your problem. <laughs> what, what they don't want is another Robert Downey Jr. situation where they're paying him $150 million per movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it was, making yeah. money in the back end. I guess we're just kind of old to have different opinions on that. I just want them to continue with Florence Pugh and have her just get the next No, I do too. Oh, okay. I want, no, that's what I want. I want okay. moving forward to be her because I'm, I'm with you 100% that I like her in that movie, man. I, I, I There's like her so lot. many scenes where I'm just like, wow. She's, she's good, she's man. She's funny. Yeah. You know, and she sold the dramatic uh, bits for me as well. So yeah, I really No, I, I think that, I'm trying to find a picture of her right now, but yeah, I, I really did, uh, I enjoyed her in the movie, man. I liked her. And I'm, I. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they, her accent was the best. But she has that yeah. kind of deep husky that, voice that, that and it makes voice. it sound better. Yeah. Because everyone's accents were they, going. All of them. I was, I guess, yeah, yeah. At first, I was fooled by her, but the more I was listening yeah. to all of them, I was like, none of them can do it. Man, that shit was going in and yeah. out. David Harbour kept going in. But the thing is, like, David Harbour and Rachel Weiss is at least, I just, I like them so much. Yeah. Whereas Ray Winstone, he was everywhere. He was, That's like, South he African. He was yeah. British. Man, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> he was the worst. He wasn't even trying. He was, the, yeah. he was the worst one, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even trying. Yeah. And the thing is, I liked him in there. I oh, almost yeah. liked him because he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Do it. It's like he just got through drinking before. <laughs> 
before every scene. That's, that's always Ray Winstone and everything he's in. Yeah. <laughs> He didn't give a shit. I'm going to do what I want. They brought him on in the beginning. He looked like a Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> He's Cuban. He's Cuban yeah. now. Yeah. 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 They put it in her neck. Yeah. Neck. I was like, what's wrong with you, brought sir? brought him on. He had a goddamn bandito mustache. Yeah. I didn't, know, I didn't know who that was at, at the beginning. Yeah. Like, he didn't even know what movie he was in. No. <laughs> just, just give me the lines, mate. I'll just say it, whatever it is. <laughs> What accent is that? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Go and blimey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <Dos> don't <Vidonia>. you? <laughs> you know what they should have done? They should have pulled off the mask and it was Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I would have allowed that. I would have been fine. Oh, not again. <laughs> they got us again. Uh, <laughs> Acting. <laughs> It's character. Yeah. That, oh, you know, it's it, it, Ralph Boner. <laughs> it it, it would have become a meme at that point. Yes. It, it'd be the new Rick Roll. Yeah. <laughs> well, I bet someone has created a meme with him yeah. underneath that mask. <laughs> 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 <laughs>